It's the Andy Griffith Show, Facts and Trivia, with your host, Bob Snap. Hi guys, welcome to the Andy Griffith Show, Facts and Trivia. Thank you for stopping by. Uh, today's video is on five Mayberry actors who passed away during the production of the Andy Griffith Show. We'll start with Dick Elliott, who died on December the 22nd of 1961. Due to his roly-poly appearance and high-pitched, wheezing voice, Dick Elliott found himself oddly typecast as both Santa Claus and boisterous politicians. He has played judges, senators, and sheriffs, cartoonish authority types. In Mayberry, <clears throat> he was Mayor Pike. We first see him being patted down in traffic stop by Barney Fife in the manhunt. Pike appeared in... Uh, 11 episodes over the first two seasons. After Elliot passed, Mayberry found itself with a new leader, Mayor Stoner, played by Parley Bear, whose election was left unexplained. <coughs> Excuse me. Will Wright died June uh, 19, 1962. As the richest and crankiest man in town, Ben Weaver was the Mayberry equivalent to Mr. Potter, the Scrooge of It's a Wonderful Life. This parallel was most notable in The Christmas Story. Uh, the Capra-esque holiday episode of the Andy Griffith Show, Andy and Helen sing away in the manger, and the Noel melts the icy old heart of the old mean Mr. Weaver. Uh, Wright is wonderful in the role. Uh, he would appear in two more episodes, and then two more actors would fill the role, Toll Avery and Jason Johnson. It's uncertain why they twice recast the part, as Avery still turned up as other characters on the show after being replaced as Weaver. Cheerio Meredith. Passed away Christmas, December 25th, 1964. Now, is there a friendlier name than Cheerio? No, she was not British. You know her best as Emma Brand, who was once called Emma Watson in her final appearance. A town gossip monger and Jay Walker in the first two seasons. Born in the 19th century, Cheerio went from stage to screen and became a go-to actor for older characters. Yes, she was born half a century before the real Cheerios. Joseph Hamilton. He passed away February 20th of 65. Mirror Image remains one of the eeriest episodes of The Twilight Zone in any iteration. The spooky tale inspired the hit 2019 horror film Us. Perhaps you recognize Hamilton as the overnight ticket agent in the bus station. He also popped up on several westerns. Some of his final work came on The Andy Griffith Show, where he played several minor characters. He was Chester Jones, locked up in a cell with Opie and B, and Andy saves Barney's morale. Later, he played a councilman a checker player and clarinetist. Others referred to him as Jason or Jace. Many of those uh, could all be the same fellow. Joseph Crehan, April 15, 1966. Elliot, Hamilton, and Crehan coincidentally shared a scene together when Mayor, when Andy, uh, Mayor Pike, and two councilmen debate the merit of Otis Campbell in a plaque for Mayberry. Speaking of being typecast, a Crehan Previously portrayed Ulysses S. Grant in nine different productions. Perhaps his most notable role was that of the police chief and Dick Tracy in 1945. The first uh, feature-length film adapted from the comic strip following the serials. I've done this one before, <clears throat> but it's been a while, and there's always new people coming here, and I just thought this was really interesting, and I've always thought it was really interesting and kind of sad. Because uh, even though they was only on a few episodes, these people really seem to be, you know, you, you thought of them as resident of Mayberry. You know, you just thought of them being there. And it was no big deal when they just showed up because they're always there in the background, right? I mean, it's, Mayberry is such a strange, but beautiful place. All I got for you here, guys, uh, please don't forget to check out my other uh, YouTube channels. Uh, classic Rural Comedy, Spacks and Trivia. It is on Gomer Powell. Actually, Gomer Cool. That's where Gomer got his name. Where did Gomer get his name? I'm going to tell you. So go over there and hear me. Uh, <laughs> classic TV, Facts and Trivia is on Jamie Farr on playing Klinger. Uh, in a sense, he said it ruined my career. Classic Rock, Country Music, Facts and Trivia. Ten of Rock's greatest 70s to 80s reinventions bands. And uh, Faith and Entertainment is on Jonathan Rumi, who played Jesus in The Chosen. And he says, The Chosen makes me want to be a better version of myself. 
all I got for you here, guys. I hope you enjoyed this. Please don't forget to subscribe. Please like this video pretty, please. Thank you very much. You guys have a great day. God bless you, and I'm praying for you.